if you're a researcher or maybe a student and you don't have access to a high performance computer or an expensive desktop, you may not be able to visualize the results of a complex scientific simulation. So what if you could train a neural network to emulate the results of the simulation? That's the crux of the work we are presenting here at Viz 2021. My name is Tim Von Hahn, and I did this work in collaboration with Dr. Chris Machewski. In this work, we ask, can we create a surrogate model of the Earth's mantle convection data set and leverage it for real-time visualization? Ideally, we could run the surrogate model in a web browser with no off-premise compute and still achieve high visual fidelity. This is what we could call the dream state or end goal. The research is still active and so we're presenting preliminary results. It's a complex challenge and we're excited with the results so far. Here you can see an example of the ground truth, the true data and what our current surrogate model can generate. All the work is open sourced and you can look at it and visit it there. How do we build the surrogate model of the Earth's mantle convection data set? Well, we use deep learning and state-of-the-art generative adversarial networks, aka GANs. In this work, we leverage the architecture from Lee et al. from their paper AI-assisted super-resolution of cosmological simulations. You can find the link in the GitHub page there. It's really a great piece of work. This is an example, a sort of a high-level approximation of the GAN that we use in our experiment. Of important notes, we condition the input to the generator using a downsampled sample of the data. That's important in order to, in order to achieve a partially deterministic result, which is needed for the surrogate model. The power of deep learning and neural networks, sort of why it works, is well described partially through this quote by Bronstein in their paper on geometric deep learning. While learning generic functions in high dimensions is a cursed estimation problem, most tasks of interest are not generic and come with essential predefined regularities arising from the underlying low dimensionality and structure of the physical world. Our hypothesis in this work is that the Earth mantle data set has strong underlying physical properties, as described by that quote, that really make it amenable to surrogate modeling. Effectively, with a surrogate model, we can front load the cost of visualizing the complex scientific simulation. We front load this to the training of the neural network and thus actually make it relatively cheap and inexpensive to visualize the final model, the final data set, the scientific simulation through the surrogate model. I would like to highlight some of the data prep steps as this is an important part of our work. First, we take the ground truth data, which is scaled down by 40% already, shown here in step one. Then we further downscale the data by eight times, as shown here in step two. A slice of this data, along with some padding, is then used and becomes the input for the generator, as shown here in step three. We also use a slice of the ground truth data which becomes the ground truth for the discriminator. One of the great things about the Earth Mantle data set is that it is great for data augmentation. We only need to rotate the data about the axis of the Earth, and with that, we get tons more data in which to train our deep neural network, our GAN on. This is great um, in the experiment and great for deep learning in general. The more data, the better. Through the developments, we really have endeavored to make the work accessible and reproducible. 
Here's the GitHub repo. Scroll down and see how to reproduce the results. If you wish to see a demo, you can click the Colab link there and make sure you put it put the uh, runtime as a GPU. It'll run a bit quicker. First, we need to clone the GitHub repo. You can press the play button or the shift enter button to move to the execute the cell and move to the next one. There we are just cloning the repo into the Colab environment. We need to load the appropriate packages, including PyTorch. That's done and set the proper directories. That's the downscale data. Um, now we'll load the trained generator model. It's trained on about 46 epics. And then we can take um, the input data, so that what we saw above, and um, feed that into the trained generator. That's what one of the slices looks like. We can concatenate a bunch of those slices together to create a full representation and then uh, put it into a nice visual format there. We can also change the index and the variable to get a different result, like so. We are quite pleased and encouraged with the results so far. There's still quite a lot of exciting work to do. You can see some of the next steps here. Obviously, we're not competing uh, to win the SciViz contest. We didn't really answer any of the requested questions. However, we hope that this idea that maybe just maybe we can create a surrogate model of the Earth's mantle convection data set and use it to explore the results of this complex simulation on a low-end compute device. We hope that this idea is able to capture the interests of others and we're happy to hear ideas and thoughts from others and are open to collaborations. So thank you for attending. Feel free to contact me here if you have any other questions and I'm happy to answer any other questions. Thanks.